South Africa is reported to have the eighth largest shale gas reserves in the world at 390 trillion cubic feet. Through the Karoo Deep Drilling Project, a five-year geoscientific research program in the Karoo Basin, the CGS mandated by the Department of Mineral Resources is conducting investigations which are going to try and develop a geo-environmental baseline model with a special focus to assess the potential impacts that could come through shale gas development in the Karoo. Musa Mabuza, who is the CEO of the Geosciences Council, joins me now via Zoom. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Let's start with what is the Karoo Deep Drilling Project? So this is a, a, a research project. Uh, the Council for Geoscience was mandated to work with Petroleum Agency South Africa to undertake a research <clears throat> in order to establish a geo-environmental baseline study. And what that is, in essence, is that uh, we are characterizing and developing an understanding of the fresh water, underground water in the aquifers, uh, so that in the event that government that does decide to develop shale gas in the future, uh, that water can be protected. The second one is uh, to uh, have a, a much deeper understanding of the subsurface geology uh, where the horizon of shale is at depth. We have a hypothesis that it could be around 2.2, 2.5 kilometers depth. And we are intending to drill to three and a half kilometers depth so that we can also establish if there are other forms of water at depth, uh, such as brackish water, which cannot be consumed by human beings, but it may be used in the process of development of shale gas in the future. Uh, Let's stay with that, uh, uh, Musa, sorry. Can you tell us more about the implications for the environment? I know you've spoken about uh, water supply very briefly, but what, if anything, have you found about water supply um, concerns and issues in this research? So the, at the beginning, the community has expressed grave concern about the possibility of uh, uh, groundwater contamination. Uh, we have established that there is good quality water in the area. In fact, <clears throat> just over uh, around two years ago, uh, we donated uh, two boreholes of water to the community. Uh, I am very proud today to say we have, uh, the community has consumed in excess of 400 million liters uh, since we have donated it, we have been measuring the amount of that water uh, in the area. So the, the research is already contributing positively to the area. Now, <clears throat> with the understanding and the characterization of that groundwater, we are then able to inform uh, the regulations for development. We are able to inform uh, the environmental impact studies that will be required to ensure that uh, there are appropriate interventions that can be put in place uh, to mitigate and preferably eliminate the risk of any environmental footprint that may arise as a result of uh, shale gas development in the future. Mm -hmm. Just maybe a two-pronged question on that. Take us through more of your engagement with the community um, before you start your research and during the course of the research. And then also staying with the environmental issues longer term, of course, uh, when it comes to shale gas, is also the concern about carbon dioxide release and the implications for climate change there. So we, we, we have been here for quite some time. We've been here for, for six years. Uh, we have done various forms of ground geology, uh, fundamental geology over the years. Uh, we have done uh, geological mapping, we have undertaken geophysics mapping, we have uh, identified uh, what is called structural geology. Uh, those are some of the geological settings uh, that uh, one looks at, assesses, assess and evaluate 
uh, to develop that understanding of, of the geology of the area. And throughout this process, we have been constantly engaging uh, with the community, with the local municipality and various other structures. There's quite a number of NGOs uh, in, this, in this area, including uh, youth-led NGOs that we have been engaging over the years. And uh, we, we have the blessings of the, of the community at large. Uh, so I'm quite comfortable uh, that the, the people on the ground uh, understand that we as the Council for Geoscience are here to undertake research. We are not here uh, to develop the shale gas. Mm -hmm. And that, that research inform uh, the decision that the government will take going forward. So in terms of the, 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 the climate change implications, of course, uh, if you compare our traditional um, uh, uh, sources of, of energy generation without any technological intervention in their current form and compare that with gas, uh, we will substantially be able to reduce the carbon footprint. Uh, right. We are not necessarily My apologies shifting. for interjecting. Musa Mabuza, the CEO of the Geosciences Council. We need to go to the Minister of the Presidency who's addressing protests and how workers. My apologies for cutting that short.